Hey everybody, it's Casual Boobs coming at you with another video, and today we're doing a, a, a summer sale. Summer sales day seven, and it is the WZ111 Alpine Tiger, which is just a skinned version of the WZ111. Uh, it's a what is it? It's it's um it's a Chinese heavy tank with, with the uh, pref matchmaking. Uh, do I think the tank is good? Eh, not really. Um, people are gonna disagree with me on this because some people love this thing. Um, do I think you should buy this thing? Eh, not really. Um, I, it's okay. So, and again, people, I don't think the tank is particularly good, but some people love it, and that's okay because it's okay to like tanks that are bad. Uh, but I'll give you, I'll give you more info now, and you can decide for yourself whether that something some, sounds like something that you would like to own. Uh, basically, it is a an IS six. If you have an IS six, it's a lot like that. It's, it's a really stupid, derpy gun. Um, it's a little faster than, than an IS-6, and it's got this pike nose kind of thing. Like, you can, it's weird kind of pike, but not a pike, you can see. Um, yeah, there you can see the little pseudo pike thing. So, like, the armor is not awesome because you've got these giant cupolas, and you've got a lower plate, and so you can't side scrape because this weird pike thing. And the gun is potato, and you can overmatch the... the, the you know, already just poops on you because it can just overmatch this engine deck. And, like, I don't know it's it's fairly fast I guess for a heavy tank but at the same time you know, like there's 50 I guess but like power to weight of, 12, of 13 and a half is not awesome I don't know it's the big thing for me is that it's got pref matchmaking so it only ever sees tier 9s unless you platoon poorly if you platoon with a non pref you will see tier 10s and then you'll hate your existence but like it's got this potato launcher of a gun that's like 390 alpha but only 186 base pen um, which is workable. They are, they've just increased that, I think, or maybe they're gonna, gonna increase it soon to like 192, but even so, even so, even if it is 192 or whatever, it's just not adequate because it's just not accurate. It's, the gun is absolute potato. You, you just, you feel like you've got to aim and 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 you only ever get down to 0.4 accuracy final. So then you tap two, and you got 250 penetration heat rounds. Those are actually useful, and for that reason, I think this tank is actually better than the IS-6, because the IS-6 gets that APCR round that's less penetration. So 250 can get things done, but even then, like, okay, so you're gonna buy a premium tank to, like, train heavy Chinese heavy tank crew, but you're also gonna spam gold, so you're not gonna make any money. So why are you buying this? Just buy crew books. Buy, buy a tank that you like, that, in, that you can make credits in, and then use the profits that you've made to buy crew books and save yourself 40 bucks. Like, I buy premium tanks because I like them or be and or because they make lots of credits. And the one of the main ways that you can make this tank work is by spamming gold, which negates the credits. So, like, I think it's, yeah, it's, it's not a very good tank. Um, you can have good games in it. I've had good games in it. You can, it's not... It's not useless. I just don't think I would spend 45 bucks on it. So um, I can't really recommend this. Like, especially if you're a new player and like, oh, this seems interesting. I wonder if this is special and good. No, definitely not. Not for a new player. Like, this is not a good way to start the game. Uh, five degrees of gun depression is not very comfy. Uh, it doesn't have very good view, you know, view range for even, you know, some other tanks, some other heavy tanks at tier eight have 400 meters of base view range. Like, it's just, there's not... There's not a lot of, of good to say about this thing, except for the fact that it has pref matchmaking and that it cha trains Chinese heavy crew. Uh, that's it. So, um, I think this one's an easy pass, but again, people, some people love this tank, and it's, I'm not saying you can't have good games in it, and I'm not saying you're not allowed to like it. I just, man, 45 bucks for this. Uh, it's a big oof. And then, the other, like I said, the other thing is it's it's the same exact tank as a Wheezy 1111, which I think is on the tech tree. I could be wrong about that, but it's like, okay, if you're like, oh, it's a skin, I want to see this skin, like, it's, it's not, it's just, are you gonna, are you gonna get two of these? Are you gonna get one extra? Like, do you have a Scorpion and a Scorpion G? Probably not. Do you have a Defender and an Object 252U? Probably not. So, like, this is not special. It just, they just, they just don't make it available all that often, but it's the same mediocre at best tank with a special little skin on it, so don't be fooled. Um, I think this one's a hard pass, but that's, uh, that's my, that's just me. So, all right, that's it for me, guys. Thanks. We'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.